Welcome back. We've got Chef Anthony in studio this morning, and we are making pineapple upside down cakes today. I'm so excited oh, about this. Oh, I am too. But first, I think we need to address the elephant in the room or baby Yoda in the room. Should I well, say? my students, as I keep saying, my students orchestrate everything that we do on the show, and they're like, Chef, there's only one hat you haven't worn. I'm like, really, guys? So I didn't, and I didn't wear it for the six o'clock episode, and I got like, nine texts okay okay chef you didn't weren't wearing the hat i got up early and you weren't wearing the hat all right well chef anthony let the force be with you and let's begin okay so we're going to talk about everybody's familiar with traditional box cakes like this so but the problem is is that it never seems to make enough cake okay and it never rec you never it never tastes quite as good as what you get from the bakery or from the store so we're going to talk about how to make this better Okay. And this takes a little bit of time, so we're going to walk through all the steps, and then I'll show you a completed product. All right, so this one is a basic yellow cake mix. Yes, this is just a basic yellow cake mix, and this is really easy to do. So this, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of sour cream, three eggs, teaspoon, uh, a little bit of salt, some vanilla, milk, and oil. And what you're going to do first is you're going to mix all of your wet ingredients together into your mixing bowl and get them completely blended. And then you're gonna mix your cake mix, your salt, your flour, and your sugar all together into a separate bowl and then add them into your mixer nice and slow. Okay, what's the point of doing the wet and the dry separately? Well, this one, if you try to do it all together, you won't get a nice smooth batter. And this will actually fluff up and will double in size. Okay. So instead of doing, this says it's supposed to do uh, two, nine, uh, two nine inch rounds, it really won't they'll be like this thick. Mm -hmm. So that way you can, if you do it this way, you can actually do two full nine inch rounds and you can yeah. make yourself a four layer cake real easy. Okay. So I use this for my pineapple upside down cake and I use any pan spray that has flour in it. Because if you've ever tried to uh, keep a pan from, uh, keep things from sticking in your pan, you would know it's a little bit hard trying to flour a pan after you grease it. But if you use one like this, it's done. That's a good coating. It coats really nice. It sticks where it's supposed to stick, and there's no fuss or muss trying to put flour into it later. Okay. Cool. So, and then for the pineapple upside down cakes, equal parts brown sugar and butter, melt them together and then drizzle them in the bottom of your pan, whatever you're using. I love to do pineapple upside down cakes in these little bitty pans, because it makes it a They're personal cute. cake. They're cute, they're like tiny bunt cakes. And they are, the kids love them, the teachers love them, everybody loves them when they see them, because they're so adorable. And then your pineapple right down on top of it. So uh, you put equal parts of brown sugar and butter for the, the yes. topping, basically, because remember, this is upside down. Correct. It goes in the bottom, and then the pineapple slice. Pineapple slice or chunks. I like to tell people, use fresh pineapple. You'll be so surprised. Just buy a coring tool. They're like $2 at the store. And take it out, and it'll cut it into beautiful rings for you. And fresh pineapple caramelizes ever so beautifully in the oven. Mm -hmm. So just pour a little bit of the butter and brown sugar melt mix into the bottom. If you don't have access to the fresh pineapple, ring can, pine canned can pineapple work. works just fine. Okay. And, but Martinez almost always has a pineapple in their boxes. I know they do. It's amazing. So, okay, so how full do you fill this? I fill this one mix? almost all the way up. I fill it to about right there. Okay. So these are, you can pick these up on Amazon or you can pick them up at a restaurant supply store. Um, you can even use loaf pans. Mini loaf pans. They work great for this because it gives it just a different si different mm -hmm. shape. You would just do two of them in there, right? Yeah, you can yeah. buy, you can just put your pineapple in there. I usually split it so it looks like an eight. Okay. So it's just something a little bit different and you can mess with the design that you want inside of it, however you like for it to appear. Okay. And then pour it right inside. These little pans take about 20 to 22 minutes in the oven. At like 350? 350. So that's nothing to get them through. Let them cool, flip it over, pop out your cake, and away you go to serve. Okay. I mean, you can do this for the family while they're eating dinner. All right, and to keep the suspense going after the break, we have some that are pre-made that we are going to pop out of the pan when we return. <laughs> 